I'm Paul Daddy from Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue, and today we'll be smoking a pork belly. And of course, we're going to do it up Goldie style. Goldie's Barbecue is the current Texas Monthly number one barbecue joint in the state of Texas. And this cook will be done on my Yoder YS1500 pellet smoker. And of course, Goldie's doesn't use pellet smokers. I believe that they're currently using a commercial grade M&M barbecue rotisserie. I think they do the pork bellies on that. So we're trying our best to get that Goldie's flavor done on non-commercial equipment. Now the good news, the good part is that it's really a very easy cook that almost anyone can try at home. You can even do this in your oven. And while it's gonna be quite good, quite delicious, it's probably not gonna be quite the same as if you did it in the smoker. I've got a pork belly that I picked up at my local supermarket. It's about five pounds because that's what they had. Now, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be kind of on the smaller side if you compare it to what Goldie's cooks, but that's what I've got. So let's open it up, pat it dry with paper towels, then look it over, remove any large tags or any parts that stick out. Probably not gonna be a whole lot of trimming to do. Now, ever so slightly round off those corners, make it aerodynamic, and that's really a very limited trim. And once you got that trimming done, it's ready to season. Now, note on pork bellies, Goldie's doesn't use any binder at all. Another thing to consider is Goldie's does not season on the sides. And I know we've been taught all our lives to get those sides seasoned up, but that's how they're doing it, and that's the way we're doing it today. The presentation side, that'll be the side with the fat cap. So start with the fat cap down. That means you'll be looking at the meat side up and you're gonna season with Lowry season salt. That's all they use. You usually wanna season the non-presentation side first. That's exactly what we're doing. And on the Lowry's, uh, I think that Goldie makes their own version of this, but I'm pretty sure they started out with Lowry's when they developed this recipe. We want to make two passes of rub on each side. The recipe calls for seasoning it aggressively, but from information I've gathered from watching their videos about this subject, I think that they take a much more modern approach. So don't get carried away when you put the seasoning on. Now, this is a rather small piece of meat if we compare it to a brisket, so cut back accordingly. Turn it over, fat side up, and season the presentation side. And this side will get a little bit heavier seasoning than we did on the meat side. But like I said, I don't think they season real heavy at all, so I would exercise some restraint. Okay, we're seasoned up. It's ready to go on a smoker. Goldie smokes at around 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Choosing the temperature depends on your smoker. Now, the smaller your smoker, the lower your temperature needs to be. If you're on a smaller type smoker, the meat's really close to your fire source. The flow of the air is probably gonna be a lot different than what they've got. This can make it very, very unforgiving in a smaller smoker, so choose that temperature wisely. Now, after I set all that about cooking at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm still starting out at 275 because my pellet smoker is larger than a lot of pellet smokers. And I've got a history and a good track record of using that temperature on this smoker. So the internal target temperature is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna smoke till we get to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and then make sure that it also probes very tender. Goldie's has said that it usually takes them four to six hours to cook this on their equipment. I've got the pork belly probed up so I can monitor that internal temperature. And doing so, I quickly found out that it was cooking pretty fast because that internal temperature was coming on up. And with that information, I dropped my smoker temperature back to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and then eventually down to 225 because I just didn't want to cook it too, too quickly. I would have felt a little bit better if it had been there four to six hour range, but my pork belly was done 200 degrees internal in two hours and 45 minutes. And it probed very tender, very, very tender. And my concern during the cook was I need to get it properly rendered 
without any charring. And it seems to have the perfect color. And like I said, it was very, very tender when I probed it. Now the cook time is definitely going to depend on your choice of temperature, but just as important, your smoker, how you have it set up. Now you can see that today my cook was on the bottom rack. I don't even have the top rack in there. And another option would have been to use that top rack and then put the drip pans underneath on the bottom rack. But that would also make them act like heat diffusers. That setup greatly increases the cook time, even though you're using the same temperatures. Don't use drip pans, you'll get something totally different. But I chose to use the bottom rack because like I say, my big concern is pork belly. It's got a lot of fat, I have to get it rendered. The point is on the cook time, it relies on a lot of variables, so your mileage may vary. It didn't take long at all resting, this pork belly is ready to try. You just want to get it down to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And I just happen to have some Goldie's Peach Glaze on hand that I just made. And I'll leave a link for that peach glaze right up here. And this is made from Goldie's recipe. It's published in D Magazine. It's what Goldie serves when they serve their pork belly. Now let's give it a taste. Now, that is really, really good. In fact, it's outstanding. This peach glaze is to die for. Now, as you can see, I'm actually using the glaze as a dipping sauce. The peach glaze is perfect with pork belly. That's what they designed it for. The sweet tangy flavor is a great match for pork belly and it offsets the abundance of fat that you'll find in that pork belly. You definitely need to have this on your menu. It's easy to prepare, it's easy to smoke, it's easy to serve. Now, speaking of serving that pork belly, I think that cutting it up into bite-sized pieces along with access to the peach glaze, that'd be a home run at any barbecue. But the truth is, this is a little bit different than traditional barbecue, so it would make a great appetizer at any party. You need to keep this on your sure to impress menu. All you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out. You definitely need to consider subscribing and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>